All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday, December 16th, 2024 is the date. 12 16 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity on the earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.4 into the Nevada area. A little bit of movement south here along the play boundary into the Baja California area as well. Also, some newer movement and adjustment going on here just across the Gulf of Alaska area. That's the uh, uh, right around the uh, North American and the Pacific plate boundary up here, seeing some further adjustment. So let's go ahead and check out uh, California first, see what's going on out here across the West Coast. By the way, live stream is up and running. It went down suspiciously here just a couple hours ago. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, seems to be another attack or some type of uh, a prevention method preventing me from accessing the Internet somehow, which ultimately brings the stream down but that's okay I'm kind of used to it now just got to get it back up when i can and here i am i never try to let it go down for any longer than a couple hours all right look at that last 24 hours of earthquake activity 2.5 and above map here still shows some strong activity up here across the northern california area uh, quite a few uh, earthquakes there from yesterday twos and threes so far today uh, two more earthquakes above the 2.5 threshold, a 2.9 and a 2.7 here within the mix of the uh, earthquake activity out there. Nothing being reported below that 2.5 threshold still. And I say that still because they really haven't been reporting all the smaller quakes there in that area. Uh, some movement going on across the Nevada area where they are reporting all the smaller microquakes, including a bunch of ones from today. We should at least be seeing that number or double uh, for the amount there across Northern California here. But for whatever reason, the uh, it's not not working like that <laughs> for, for some reason. Um, Mount Shasta area, a little earthquake here this uh, last night, it looks like, early in the evening, 2.3 just on the southeastern flank here of that beautiful volcano. I can see that from my backyard every day. Um, dangerous volcano, obviously. Uh, it does have some history around it. But this 2.3, not a big earthquake. Um, I suppose we can check out the um, volcano websites here real quick, see what we got. Where did my, uh, there we go. It's a Monday, that's for sure, let me tell you. But that's okay, we keep on moving on. There we go, here's Mount Shasta, still at the green, obviously. We haven't really seen any uh, major earthquakes swarming around that region in quite a while. That little earthquake today, uh, pretty close there to the summit area. There's a number of seismograph stations and GPS stations monitoring this volcano. As uh, far as the seismograph station here, let's see what we got. Looks like that one's not going to work. I'm wondering if, it, if any of these will work here. Might have to open it up in a different browser. For whatever reason, um, it wants to work sometimes in the Edge, this uh, Microsoft Edge browser, but I don't use that all, op all that often here. So there's a GPS. We zoom in here a little bit, see what we got. Number of GPS stations down here. Seismograph stations there not working on that one. Uh, neither that one as well. You know, it would help to have functional <laughs> equipment. If you're going to put it up, should probably maintain it, right? That's not working either. You know, which ones are working out here in terms of uh, monitoring uh, this volcano? Wow. Maybe this one down here around McLeod. Yeah, there we go. It did pick up that earthquake, that two-pointer that came in a couple hours ago. Well, a couple hours ago. Hold on a second here. 12.15. Here's 12.16 UTC time. Right now, it is uh, okay. It almost looks like uh, this went offline couple hours following that earthquake because this is from yesterday it looks like the data came in uh, for that 2.3 and then it went offline a couple hours following that it's a little odd but uh, there's that earthquake regardless showing up on the uh, uh, station there to the south around the cloud area but that's offline so that one is working past 24 hours but it, actually it's not working the data there looks corrupt This one here looks like it's over um, 
under tuned in terms of not picking up anything so uh, i don't think there's anything major going on there for now in terms of earthquake activity but obviously we'll keep an eye on it there's other ways of uh getting some further data out there all right let's get back here to the usgs map see what else we got going on here across the uh california area bay area san francisco pretty quiet just a little 2.2 this morning near black hawk california right off the calaveras fault zone there it looks like in extreme southern california as we see and uh, continue to see here fairly quiet conditions a uh, handful of smaller quakes one earthquake here above the 2.5 level that looks like it's going to be um good chance that could be associated with that puente hills thrust fault that sits right about here it may maybe off a little bit no that's i believe that's it uh, a little 2.8 early this morning nothing big uh, looks like maybe another handful of smaller quakes in the mix there as well with that 2.8 uh, but aside from that most of the movement out here generally small microquake activity a little bit of movement around this bend area across the southern branch of the san andreas fault but uh overall just um kind of waiting out here seeing what uh, is going to take place here some movement through the utah area and up through uh, yellowstone it looks like some very small earthquake activity so let's take a look there real quick see what we have for the latest data there on the seismograph stations one little earthquake over here around parker peak it looks like notice that little spike showing up there not a uh, big one at all but uh, a little earthquake nonetheless showing up i believe that's going to be this one right here 1.9 just a couple hours ago uh, texas oklahoma still getting some movement out there really nothing major across the rest of the country and if you look at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity here largest movement is going to be this 5.5 uh, there across the uh, indonesia area so nothing big so far today yet still a little early uh, a little bit of movement up north here across that plate boundary as i mentioned that's uh, a little far north of the cascadia which sits right about here i didn't get a chance to check out the um, trimmer map last night so we'll do that right now in fact uh, i was pretty tired last night i didn't even get a chance to do a nightly update got movement uh, stretching up north a little bit now it looks like from our um, previous activity down here across the southern end of the Cascadia that's where most of it's been confined here as far as the trimmer activity goes I get a little bit of movement up north around the Vancouver Island range which adding strange uh, which is adding strain <laughs> not strange strain there to the uh, Cascadia subduction zone almost as a whole right now uh, so of course we'll continue to watch that uh, I don't think, again, I don't think we're done with the uh, activity out here. Just taking a little break, I, I feel. Uh, 5.1 there across the Crow Cam Chatka Trench from yesterday. So nothing major going on here yet today, folks. We'll continue to watch that and report back on anything uh, that changes out here. Got the typical crunch zone, seeing some movement around the Indonesia Islands area through the Philippines. Uh, New Zealand area down here, threes. And uh, Vanuatu area, just south there of the region, shows a 4.9, but that's very typical on any given day. The rest of the globe out there, fairly active, I would say, across the area here on this area of the planet. Twos and threes, some fours out there around uh, eastern Afghanistan and uh, India area. Really not a whole lot happening there through the Atlantic. One 5.1 from yesterday, and uh, we'll just kind of watch and see what happens today look at the seismograph stations pretty quiet got all the typical ones here that i normally run up and down uh, well actually there's two new zealand so i'll have to add on a different station here uh, space weather activity we are chilling a little bit in terms of the flare activity very low category here in the c flare almost down to the b flare category which is pretty much non-existent there of any flaring uh, looks like uh, we're taking a little break here on the sun in terms of any flaring activity at least for now still no imagery up from the sdo uh, office there the solar Dyna dynamics observatory uh, folks there they normally provide us with some decent imagery here including the magnetogram image the color colored one uh, that has been offline since the 26th of last month so overall flare threat right now just a five percent chance for x flare in flare at 40 
C flare at 99, and just looking at this flare chart here, looks like things are uh, fairly stable in terms of any complexity. See, I keep getting stuff like this popping up here on my on my uh, computer. Weird stuff, like things wanting to access my location all of a sudden. It's like, what has changed here? Why are all these messages popping up? Ah, it never fails, you know. All right, uh, no major roars in the forecast there, folks. Look at the uh, weather outlook out here today. Marginal risk for some severe weather. Looks like across Arkansas into Tennessee area. Got uh, really nothing for tornado activity. Wind and a little bit of hail threat out there associated with the weather events there today. Uh, as we look at the uh, weather models here, we got rain. Actually, we had rain uh, early this morning in Northern California. Uh, adding to the uh, sufficient rain we've seen so far with this season. Hopefully it continues as we put the weather model into motion here. Got uh, a mixed bag of cold weather here across the northeast. Another storm system here across California entering into the area this weekend. Um, looks like that'll give us some more rain and high elevation snowfall. Uh, another one behind that and a stronger one behind that. <laughs> It looks like for Christmas Eve here, this is going to be Christmas Eve night around 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, this is what you got here. Pretty good storm system into the Pacific Northwest. Uh, high pressure here across areas of the eastern portion of the country. Uh, but uh, there may be some flight delays potentially out there across the Pacific Northwest with all the uh, moisture coming in. We'll have to see. Looks like a decent storm and uh, some severe weather potentially. Across the Texas area, Oklahoma, Louisiana area as we head into the uh, 26th and the 27th time period. That's all subject to change. It's a ways out there. But it does look like the weather patterns are quite active and will remain active uh, through the end of the year. Which is literally only in a couple weeks here. 2025. Wow. Crazy. Alright, uh, quick glance here at any major close approach asteroids which uh, I think we're fairly safe for now. Not seeing any low numbers out here. I always like to check this on a daily uh, basis here. Large asteroids uh, around the area. Obviously, they're always around us, but uh, no close approaches out here uh, for these for now. All right, uh, Big Island of Hawaii. I kind of forgot this out here. Um, Still got a little bit of movement up there across the Kilauea Summit area. Let me go see what's going on real quick across that area. Volcano still at a yellow status. In fact, the update for this volcano is put out on the 10th of December. So nothing has changed in terms of that. Um, look at the seismograph stations out here. Shows a handful of earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Really nothing of any magma intrusion detection on those charts. Um, I think we're at, uh, you know, I think we're at a pressurization level to where we could see things start happening quickly. Uh, the deformation chart here shows us, hopefully it will show us. Are we alive? We're still alive, still doing good. Are they offline? Deformation data offline? Hello? It looks like it is. All right. So um, that's just weird when it freezes up like that. But uh, the inflation chart there, I was looking at it past couple days here, and it's inflating, and then it will stationary. It will basically level off there in terms of inflation, deflation level. Uh, but we're at a previous level seen, or we're at a level seen previously in the last couple eruptions out here. So things could happen very quickly in terms of a magma intrusion somewhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a eruptive event anytime soon until that magma intrusion happens, but uh, we'll continue to watch it. A little bit of elevated activity out there across the Big Island today and in the last couple days, but really nothing of any noteworthy value. But it's nice to check the, you know, the, the deformation charts there when you can. For some reason... Somebody want, doesn't want me looking at that for now. It may be just offline. I see what happened here. Okay, so as uh, far as the seismograph stations go here on the live stream, from top to bottom, we got Barrett, which is in Southern California. 
Petrolia, that's in Northern California, pretty close to the Mendocino Triple Point boundary. Philippines, uh, stationed there in South America, Chile area. Dinsmore, close to the uh, Petrolia station, but a little bit more inland away from the coast. Uh, Japan, New Zealand, and China Lake down there in Southern California. It looks like a couple spikes showing up there in the area, but nothing showing up there on the USGS map, you know. I think if they were to show every single earthquake that comes into the seismograph stations, it'd be, uh, it might be too much to handle. Who knows? But uh, there is a little bit of small microquake activity occurring down within that region right now. All right, folks, um, live stream is up and running. Hope everyone has a good day. The member drawing is coming up a little bit later today. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. I was swamped, been busy, been sick, you know, a combination of everything here. Uh, so we'll try to get to that later this afternoon. Uh, it will come in as a secondary live stream, and we'll put all the members here of the channel into a fishbowl, and we'll pick out a lucky winner and give away uh, some prizes there for that uh, lucky winner. We'll do this a little bit later on this afternoon, folks. Uh, right now, i got to get a few things done. In the meantime, live stream is up and running. We'll see you guys back out here a little bit later on this afternoon. Stay safe out there, and uh, stay dry if you're out here in the California area like I am. It's nice. The I love the rain. Got a little chill to it, though, today. Have a good one.